Words in a language can tell us a lot about the people who speak that language and their surrounding environment. Italian has a lengthy list of commonly used words for different types of coffee and pasta, in comparison with other languages, highlighting to linguists the central role of food in Italian culture. French, spoken in Canada, uses words which originally come from North American indigenous languages, like Mi'kmaq, Cree, and Wendat. This highlights the historic relationships between some indigenous nations and the first French settlers in Quebec. The study of the origin and history of words, known as etymology, can often provide us with a window into the past. In this video, we're going to talk about the fascinating history of the word T and discover why many of the world's languages use only one of two words for this hot beverage. It's really common for words to be borrowed from one language to another, and often the words that are borrowed from one language to another reveal some history about those speakers of the language, who lived however many years ago. Common reasons for word borrowing are geographical location, cultural influence, colonization, migration, or trade. The origin of the word for tea made its way around the world because of international trade relationships with China, who was the main producer of tea hundreds of years ago. Tea became common in Europe around the 17th century. The tea leaf comes from a plant which is native to Southeast Asia in modern day countries extending as far west as India and as far east as China. Today, tea is still a really popular drink around the world. In a study of the world's languages, about 37% of languages around the world that were included in the study use a word that is similar to te or tea. About 48% of languages studied use a word that is similar to cha or chai, which means, by the way, when you order a chai tea, you're literally saying a tea tea, since the original term for chai tea is masala chai, where chai means tea and masala means mixed spice. If you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could support my channel by liking this video. I'd also love it if you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on new content and to be part of our language loving community. Both the words cha and te originate from Sino-Tibetan languages. The word cha originates from possibly Mandarin, if not other Sinitic languages spoken in China, which use the word cha also. The word te originates from one of the southern Min languages spoken in Fujian province of China. The Dutch traded for tea with people from Fujian province. The Dutch exported this tea to their colonies in Malaysia and Indonesia, and then later to the rest of Europe. Along with the tea, the Dutch's use of the southern Min word te also got passed on to their colonies and other countries in Europe who traded with the Dutch to get tea. Prior to the Dutch trading with Fujian for tea, the Portuguese were actually the first Europeans to import tea in the 16th century via Macau. The word cha, which became the word for tea in Portuguese, originated from Cantonese. Fast forward a few hundred years to today, the languages with the form cha had tea introduced to them by land, which is why much of Asia and Eastern Europe uses a word similar to cha. The languages with the form tea or te had T introduced to them by C, via the Dutch. One final piece of the puzzle is, why does English use T when the original form was T? Well, as English transitioned from Middle English to Modern English, many of the vowel sounds transformed in what became known as the Great Vowel Shift. An example is the A sound became pronounced as E. After the T was introduced to England, the A became pronounced as E, as in T. The word T then spread to the various English colonies and the speakers of local languages in those colonies, such as Yoruba in Nigeria, Kokopa in California, and Koa in Botswana. This video relied heavily on a chapter written by linguist Ustin Dahl, written in the World Atlas of Language Structure Online. This resource is available for free online if you'd like to learn more about some fundamental foundations of linguistics. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about the world's languages. Don't forget to turn on the notifications to be notified about new videos each week. Here are some other videos you might be interested in.